Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can get a message to pop up on the player's screen when they have a full inventory. So as of right now they can pick up the items, however it's not going to do anything or not display anything if the player has a full inventory and they are unable to pick up the item. So we need to give them a little bit of feedback. Back. And the way that we're going to do this is by creating a widget with an animation which is going to pop up on the player's screen if they run over an item trying to collect it if their bag is full. So what we're going to need to do then is create a brand new widget blueprint. So in your content browser just go to user interface and then widget blueprint. Give this the name bag full pop up just like that. And then with this, you're just going to open it up. And then inside of here, we are going to be creating a text element, which is going to just tell the player that their inventory bag is full. And then we're going to be running a quick animation to sort of make it fade out from the screen. So what I'm going to do then, drag in from my palette a text block. And then with my text, what I'm going to do is just set the content in the details panel to your inventory bag is full, just like that. And we'll add a couple of dots to the end as well. And I'm going to spread this out so it fits all of the text in that I want there. And I'm also going to change my font size up as well to make it nice and big, just like this. And then with this, I'm also going to anchor this to the top center of my screen as that's where I'm going to be displaying it. And then I'm just going to center it roughly where I want to place it. And for me, I think this is a good location. So what I'm going to do with this now then is I'm going to do a simple fade in and out with this as part of an animation to make it look really smooth. So my color and opacity, because I'm working with a fade and I want the default opacity so it starts off completely transparent, I'm going to set the alpha under my color and appearance to zero. With this, with it still selected then, I'm going to create an animation with the name fade in. Select my fade in animation and then with the object selected, which is text block underscore 56, or it might be named differently for you. I'm just going to add that onto our timeline and then I'm going to add a track for the color and the opacity. I'm going to expand this and the only one that I'm after is my opacity. By default, it should be zero. I'm going to move my slider across and then after half a second, I'm going to tell it to go to one. So between zero seconds and 0 0.5 seconds, it is going to fade to full opacity. So if I slide back, press play, you should be able to see what that looks like. And then if I move my slider back down to one, I want it to fade out over another half a second. So from half a second to one second, I'm going to tell it to change its opacity to zero. And what you should have is something that looks nice and simple, just like that. It just flashes it on the screen. So that's all good. I'm happy with that animation. What I'm going to do is go to my graph now and then event construct. So as soon as they load this blueprint on their screen, I'm going to tell it to get a reference to fade in and then simply play animation with the animation being hooked up to there. And I'm just going to drop it in here. We're going to leave the rest of the settings as it is, unless you want it to loop a couple of times. So let's say you want it to flash twice instead of just once, you would just go ahead and put it into here. Now then, as for actually getting it implemented into the item, so if their bag is full, this is where we are going to add this in. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to pick up items and I'm going to start with the wood pickup. And with this, what I'm going to do is I've got my code here for the wood pickup. So when you run over it, it is going to run a whole bunch of checks to see if there's any empty slots. And at the end here, if slot eight is full, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to create a widget. And the widget that I'm after is the one which we just created, which is going to be our um, bag full pop up. And then we're just going to add this to the viewport. 
And then what we're also going to do is just make sure destroy actor is not hooked up to this as we don't want it to be claimed. You know, we still want it to be on the ground if we have a full bag. So I'm gonna press Control C to copy this. And then what I'm gonna do is just paste that into my key pop-up. Now, if this was the first item you was creating, it would just paste over this stuff for you. So let's go ahead and compile this and give this a go. So what I'm gonna do is add a few more of these objects into my scene so that I can actually simulate what a full inventory is going to look like. So we've got a few keys here. Just gonna make sure they're not under the ground as they are at the moment, just like that. And what I'm gonna do now then is I'm just gonna run over these and make sure that our pop-up pops on the screen when we have a full inventory. So I'm gonna press B to open up my bag, run over the first item, second item, just keep collecting all these different objects, and eight, and then one more, and as you run over it, it should say your inventory bag is full. And each time I run over that, it's going to keep saying it is full, which is exactly what you're after. Now, if you want to, you can style that pickup a little bit more. It's entirely up to you. But other than that, I am entirely happy with what I've got there. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.